Welcome back. We pretty much have the garden all planted. Temperatures at night are staying in the mid to high 50s, which is good. You may have some dips, but that's okay. Um, trying something new this year. We're trying to plant as much as we can um, in the garden without the plant suffering. It remains to be seen whether we will have accomplished our goal or not. As you can see, um, we have a lot of drip irrigation here. These black lines are the irrigation tubing. And one of the things that we tried to do this year was to plant something like um, onions and tomatoes and other things next to them. Some that haven't taken because um, the temperature went down so much so we're replanting. But as you can see, we do have quite a bit in here. Right? And another thing that uh, we're going to be doing this year is working with a lot of pots. Now, there are people that say that you should have a lot of room in your garden to bend into the garden to do what you need to do. Again, what we're trying to do is grow as much as we can in this enclosure. It remains to be seen how much we'll get from this and whether this is actually a good idea or not. But again, uh, we'd love to experiment. And if you look over here, we actually, actually have a little pepper. So something uh, must have pollinated it, and we actually have our first pepper of the year, which again, it is now uh, the middle of May. So that's pretty neat. Again, the reason we have that pepper is because we overwintered that plant. We kept it alive the whole year inside. What's gonna happen now, and these, all of these we're trying to give away, we'll see what we can do. And again, we have more, we have lettuce over here, and we have our potatoes all the way in the back over here. And we have our uh, carrots growing in that blue bin over there. We have some chives in here. So again, a lot of these things we're gonna to try to give away. We've got a lot of onions we wanna give away, and we still have some red romaine that is still growing, which we're gonna eat soon. And then we have new ones that we chopped down that are going to be growing up. So one of the things that we wanna make sure that we do is to mulch our bed. We wanna have some type of cover on top of our bed. So we're going to try something new this year. We're gonna be trying pine wood chips or pine shavings. These are things that you can find in places like Tractor Supply. They use it primarily for bedding for chickens and horses. And again, the, the beauty of using these is that um, wood chips, when they get into the ground, start taking the nitrogen out of the ground. We don't want that. But these things will actually start decaying on top and then all their matter will start going into the garden and feed the garden. So that's what we're gonna be doing. After we, we'll be back after we mulch the bed. Okay, so all of the bed is now covered with about two to three inches of wood chips or wood shavings, pine wood shavings. So this is gonna help in a couple of different ways. First of all, it's gonna keep moisture underneath. So we have our drip irrigation tubes. You can see some of it, one of them here. Another one down there, but it go all across as we showed before. So it's gonna keep it moist down there. So even when it's hot outside, the ground will stay moist. Secondly, it's supposed to prevent weeds. We'll see if that actually works. Uh, haven't had such great luck in the past of it doing that, but even in, in the containers that we have here I put it down so we'll see What happens with that again? This is the benefit of overwintering um, we have a couple of a couple of um, Peppers already Which again, it's May. So here's here's one. Let me see if I can zoom out so you can see a little better Here's one. Here's two and there's actually one over here back here. So this is the middle of May when the plants are just starting to grow as you can see but we already have peppers. Um, definitely uh, interesting to be able to overwinter these because they are able to withstand inside. We keep them dormant for the winter. Uh, we just water them. Don't give them any fertilizer and then we come into spring they're actually starting to bear fruit. Amazing what, what God has made in these plants that they don't die one year and that's it. So hopefully we'll keep an eye on those and let you know how they're doing. Again, if you like these short little tips, please uh, join us, subscribe, and hit the like button. We'll see you next time.